10 on your side is your local election headquarters. Results are in for the Virginia primary. Statewide and local races were on the ballot. We'll have more on the local races in our next half hour over on Fox 43. But right now, we're breaking down those statewide races, starting with the Democratic nomination for governor. Terry McAuliffe, the clear winner, beat out four other candidates by a wide margin. He beat out, he secured 62% of the vote. The next closest candidate was Jennifer Carroll Foy with about 20%. McAuliffe, of course, is no stranger to politics. He served as governor from 2014 to 2018, and now he is one step closer to holding that title again. Speaking to supporters last night, McAuliffe promised an economic boom, a massive expansion in education funding, paid sick and family leave, broadband for every household, and more. You gotta go big. We've got to be bold, and we need seasoned leadership to move us forward and to lift up all Virginians. McAuliffe will now go on to face Republican nominee Glenn Youngkin in November's general election. This morning, he'll speak with 10 on your side's Kayla Gaskins about his nomination. Look for that interview on Wavy News 10 starting at 4. Now we turn to the race for lieutenant governor. Delegate Hala Ayala won the Democratic nomination with nearly 40 percent of the vote. She'll face Republican nominee Winsome Sears in November. We need a lieutenant governor who can build bridges instead of putting up barriers to our progress. We need a lieutenant governor who will protect and expand health care and not roll back coverage. Whoever wins the November, in November would make history as the first woman to be Virginia's lieutenant governor. In the race for Attorney General, two-term incumbent Mark Herring survived a primary challenge from Norfolk Delegate Jay Jones. Jones was also running for re-election in the House, and he did win the nomination in that race. Herring will take on Republican nominee and Virginia Beach Delegate Jason Meares in November. And as we've reported, Republicans picked their candidates during a convention last month. And now that both parties have selected their candidates, the general election will take place on November 2nd. In addition to the big three statewide races, all 100 House of Delegates seats will be up for grabs this fall. Remember, you can find all the primary results right now on wavy.com. Just look for the live election results banner at the top of the homepage.